Audio Jungle. Hello, my wonderful people. How are you guys doing this lovely morning? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and where you are listening to this news from. This is breaking news. A lot in Kogi. See what Yahaya Belu did that disqualified him. News in details. In a stalling revelation cited by the latest news blog on the X platform, formerly known as Twitter, Mr. Jackson Udi, an independent journalist and the former aide to ex President Gulag Jonathan, has levied serious accusations against outgoing Governor Yahaya Belo of Kogi State. The allegations suggest a calculated effort to manipulate the upcoming governorship elections in favor of all in favor of all congress progressive congress sorry apc through the deployment of unconventional means according to mr udi governor Bello is purportedly orchestrated a operation to flood the states with weapons and pre-made police and military uniforms. The motive behind such actions, as alleged by the independent journalist, is a desperate attempt to investigate violence and manipulate the election outcome in favor of the APC, even as the popularity of the party's gubernatorial candidate wins. The accusations de- delved into the specifics of Governor Bello's alleged strategy. It is claimed that he has procured this ambud, this ambud firearms, which are in the process of being shipped into Kogi State. The guns are reportedly intended to use by individuals aligned with the governor's interest. Furthermore, there are claims that presumed military and police uniforms are being transported into the state with the intention of distributing them to hired individuals who will pose as a law enforcement personnel on election day. The report suggests that the mismanaged firearms are currently being assembled at the covert location in Lokoja, away from the public eyes. The plan, according to Mr. Udi, is to hand over these weapons to carefully elected individuals disguised in police and military uniforms on the eve of the elections. Mr. Ude's post read, he said, Yaya Bello flocks Kogi with guns, so uniforms, military uniforms, ahead of Kogi election. Outgoing Governor Yaya Bello of Kogi State has flooded the state with guns and so police and military uniforms in a desperate bid to cause violence and rig the governorship election on Saturday for the All Progressive Congress, APC. Sensing defeat of unpopular APC governorship candidate, Bello allegedly brought guns that were mismantled and been shipped into the state. He's also shipping into the state already so military and police uniforms and handing them to talks who had to wear them on election day to aid his rigging plans. The de-pop, the de- Coupled guns are being assembled at the secret location in Lokoja, where they are to be added or handed over to these thugs in police and military uniforms tonight ahead of elections. These admin allegations, if substantiated, sorry, pose a serious threat to the democratic process and raise concern about the integrity of the upcoming governorship elections in Kogi State. 
the potential use of fair arms and the impersonation of law enforcement officials could lead to widespread coerce in determining the credibility of the electoral process. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. <laughs> this is another big, big blunder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, below. Flux, Kogi State, guns. Even how they got to sew uniforms. This is what we call rigging. Okay, this security man that, this talks, not even security man, the talks that is, uh, that he hired to sew these uniforms for, buying guns for them, pretending to be security men, and at the end of the day, they pretend to, after the election, they pretend to gather all these um, election sheets, election sheet, and at the end of the day, they can take it to an eating place and start rigging, start changing the votes, the voters' uh, page. Can you imagine? To favor them. This year, your bill must be stupid. I think you should be arrested for this. You should be arrested for this. Now that uh, Ude has really has been, he has been caught by Ude, then he should be reported to, to the to the police and the the, the EFCC. Or should I say police and uh, I make chairman? Oh, will I make chairman? Do you think you find out about all this? You still you still be in support of uh, Yaya Bill. That is it. Because they want to favor APC. They want to favor this party. Can you can you imagine that? This is nonsense. Rigging can never stop in this country, no matter what. Hey now, why won't they why won't he rig? Why won't he organize these stocks? For his own selfish purpose. Because Tinumbu has already laid that foundation. He has laid the foundation of rigging. And we keep laying, he has laid it, and people will, will keep uh, uh, we keep we keep rigging. They will keep rigging because the leader has already started it. So they will end it. So what do you expect? So viewers, you have read it all, your own comments and your take will be very much appreciated. Please don't hesitate to drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the